it's quite more fascinating that today we live in a society that is far complex for us to comprehend. And as such, we tend to be puzzled by certain questions. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tabang Patrick Baloi, and I'll be delivering this first lecture on introduction on sociology as such. And we'll be looking deep in sociological imagination by Sirait Mills in order to have a foundation of understanding sociology as a discipline. To be more realistic, sociology is more than just a discipline. In fact, it helps us to understand society at large. It helps us to understand how society is structured, how power dynamics work in our society and how each of us are constructed, deconstructed in our society. Because I argue on the basis that every individual in society is constructed, constructed by structures that at the later stage I'll talk about them. For example, church, school, university, a family, all of that structures an individual. The interesting part about sociology as a discipline is that it allows one to understand the connections between things that exist in our society. For example, it helps one to understand between the past and the present and the effects of it. It helps one to have a open view about the society. Of course, one will decide if he or she will take that information or not, but we have to understand that each of us is constructed in our society. Our minds are fed what we see and then we change. It's quite more interesting that there's a gentleman who was a sociologist who studied philosophy. His name is Sirite Mills. Now, Sirite Mills gave us a concept that helps us today in order to understand sociology. That's the concept of sociological imagination. One can just view sociological imagination as a tool or spectacles that allows one or the glasses that allows one to see far beyond society and being able to understand between a personal issue and a societal problem their correlation between the individual and the society for example if one is poor then becomes a criminal because he steals then now there's a crime issue in a country it's a cycle that happens now, in writing the sociological imagination, Sirad Mills tried to reconcile two varying abstract contraptions of social reality, the individual and the society, and the connection. And, you know, he wanted us to understand that connection between that. It's it's quite so interesting that Sarah Mills, Reda Mills, argued on the basis that men cannot become men on their own. They are constructed daily. And that can be seen each and every day in our society. One person can say, no, I'm not reconstructed. I'm who I am because I'm who I am. But look, from the beginning, of your life on earth, you are assigned gender roles. A boy, for example, was assigned that he will do this and that a woman will assign to do this and do this. For example, they say uh, blue, you know, describe being a, a boy and being describing a, a woman or a girl. So we see that we are constructed from the day we are born. We cannot really say that we, yes, we, we do have free will. 
but we are constructed you know from the beginning from the day that we open our eyes to this earth we are already constructed now what sociology does it helps one to understand far beyond gender roles far beyond feminism as a structure far beyond masculinity as a structure it helps one to have an open and diverse view how we view religion it's quite more interesting that there's a connection between the past and the present for example in, in South Africa, we're going to look at the issue of apartheid. The, 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 the cracks of apartheid that are visible today. Before you're going to argue about inequality and all of that, you have to look back in the past of what happened for you to have a clear understanding. Because what we see now, the unequal distribution of power in our society and the inequality that is being perpetuated daily, it was caused merely by apartheid, not talking about discrimination and so forth. However, the why it's merely in what happened, because we have to look back. So sociology as a discipline helps us to do that, not only on apartheid. It's quite more interesting that if you put your love in it, in this discipline, you're going to love it. You know, it's also quite interesting that Sirad Mills spoke about an interesting thing. He, he argued that the individual who does not exercise reason and passively assert their social position is referred to by Sirat Mills as the cheerful robot. Now, in which an individual is aligned from self and society totally. Now, what Mill, Mills does is that he asks if at some point in time in the future, individuals who accept this state of total rationality, alienation, willingly and happily. Now, because as I said, previously or before that one can say no i'm not constructed but you we know that from the day you were born you are assigned your gender roles you know we see that connection that happens now in his book the promise and the section of sociological imagination mills tries to bring an idea that an individual doesn't really exist in vacuum the connection between biography and one's history they are interlinked and it's also quite interesting that with this sociological imagination it helps us to understand power dynamics in a workplace and how machinery was formed and so forth and so forth but it's quite interesting that you will learn more in the discipline of sociology and well at the latest point you become you know you become a person with knowledge but we need to understand as they say that uh, a stretched mind will never go back to its dimension because of the knowledge that they have acquired of gain through time. Of course, you'll fall in love with it and I hope you will learn more as I go, you know, step by step with you in this discipline of sociological imagination. What I can say is that welcome. And this was our first lecture and introduction to sociology as such. It's quite interesting that we have a discipline of sociology to understand how society is structured and how society is. And I hope you'll enjoy my second lecture on this topic, sociological imagination, as a continuation. Thank you for watching.